Hello everyone, welcome to Open Plan Tech Tip Tuesday. A while back, we did a tech tip where we showed you how to create custom piping uh, components using user-defined graphics. Uh, so we mentioned in that tech tip that this is going to be a series of tech tips because there are multiple ways where you can create uh, custom uh, piping components. So in today's session, uh, I'm going to cover how you can define a new class in our schema and use existing scripts to uh, place a new uh, user-defined uh, piping component. Let's zoom into uh, Open Plan Modeler session and uh, let me launch uh, Project Administrator. So selecting the project we are working with and um, launch uh, class edit editor. So there are multiple uh, ways you can um, uh, create this new class. Uh, I can also go to my settings, uh, select the scheme editor from here. And let's just add uh, a new class here. So I can go to plan theme item. Uh, and maybe let's add a new um, and maybe let's add a new valve so let's go to inline valve and create a new class so we can add a class here we can call it uh, user valve uh, use it to find that as a display label. Mm, hit OK here. So, and then in the gateway class, uh, we can see what type of custom attributes are um, added on the gateway class. So, we uh, will create a sort of a copy of a gateway class. And remember, in this exercise, we are using existing script, so the shape that is drawn will be similar to any existing valve. Uh, but the purpose can be different. It can have a different spec. Uh, it can be drawn, you know, uh, differently in deliverables and asymmetric drawings. So there can be a variety of reasons that you may want to uh, create a new uh, uh, user-defined component, uh, but use uh, existing scripts. For all these custom attributes, uh, in for the placement of Open Plan Modeler, we are actually interested in um, few like component force information, asymmetric component, Open Plan Physical Catalog Class Map, uh, which uh, lets you um, retrieve the data uh, from the spec for this particular class. So these are the custom attributes we would. Um, copy uh, into uh, uh, in a new uh, user defined value class the some of the other custom attributes here that are present are for various other purposes of data reuse and for, uh, using the data from other systems but for today's exercise we'll just focus on uh, our basic placement and open plan model so let's just hit save here so that our new user defined class is now uh, created in order to copy custom attributes and add, uh, we can do it via class editor as well. So let me launch class editor. And here I'll just supplement schemas. So I'll select modeling supplemental. Information 3D component. Maybe I can select ISO extractor. Okay. And let me expand to our class, bad class. So this is a new user defined class. Uh, note that it has already some custom attribute already copied from uh, the valve. Um, so most of the custom attributes uh, since uh, are in, being inherited from the valve class and we will not really need to uh, copy these again. Uh, so let's see what are the uh, some specific custom attributes that are uh, on the gate valve. So we are only interested in the custom attributes 
that are applied on the gateway class. So in the menu bar, there is an icon to copy custom attribute. I'll select the custom attributes I want to copy. And I'll go to my user defined class and paste all the custom attributes here. So let's see. So this is the creation attribute that we copied from the gateway class. Note that it has the actual uh, library name, uh, the script name that we want to use, and some of the information related to uh, handler and placement tools. So we we'll keep that as is. The uh, catalog um, or spec retrieval custom attribute is this one that specifies the uh, name uh, of uh, the table in which we have uh, data for this particular component. So now that is done, I will save and close the class editor. So these are all the changes I need in the schemas uh, for the new class to work. And uh, let me close the project administrator. Okay. Um, for this new class, I've added records in our EXOPM spec in um, different sizes. Maybe let me just select size 10 here. So I have added a new icon in our component gallery in valve section. Uh, let me scroll down. So this is the uh, command for place user defined valve. Uh, when I click it, I, um, the class does it, that it picks up is user defined valve. And um, I've added specific driver records uh, for this uh, new valve. So uh, let me just place it. So as you can see. Uh, the graphics are similar to uh, gate valve, but this is a new user defined uh, class uh, of valve uh, that we just base. So in this way, uh, you can quickly define a new class, uh, define some new specs uh, for that particular class, uh, copy some custom attributes um, through class editor um, by selecting copy custom attribute function and then paste custom attribute uh, to easily define this uh, this new web. So that's it for today. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching today's tech tip.